Well, early in the afternoon on Tuesday, the 24th of March, in the midst of the coronavirus situation, I'm going to give you a few updates and let you know what's going on around here, just to give you a quick report of, of, of what is happening. Uh, of course, today in, in Harris County, we got the shelter in place that begins, I believe, at midnight tonight. I want you to know your staff will still be in ministry working. We're going to separate to the two campuses. We have about three or four people at each campus, so we have lots of social distancing there. But we've got a lot of things that we're trying to do to make sure that our church is being reached and everybody's being ministered to. So uh, please be assured that uh, church is going on during the week. More, we know it's more than just a Sunday event. So continue to pray for us as we seek to reach out to our body in the best way possible. Praise God for, for this digital avenue that we do have. Uh, quick word, Sunday was awesome. We had a 850 to 900 uh, uh, views on that, and a lot of other people just saw it, so that got up into double that number, I think is what it was. But a lot of people watched, and a lot of people were able to watch for the most, the whole broadcast. And I do thank you, especially for those who were able to join with us at 9 a.m. when we started the live service. That was exciting. All you people, 100, close to 100 comments coming in on that, uh, representing that, that many households. So there was hundreds of people that actually watched that service. We did show it again or post it again, at least I noticed it to see it at 1045. So you can watch it later in the day, but we really urge you just for the sake of fellowship to watch together. I'm kind of having fellowship withdrawals. You know, something about coming to church, it's not just to hear a sermon and to share in the worship experience, but the, the meeting together, the fellowship together, the encouragement of each other, the pats on the back, the, the people who stop and pray for each other. That means a lot, and I'm missing that. Let's keep praying and we get back to that that sooner rather than later amen i do want you to know if you see i can i'm standing in front of i'm sitting in front of the prayer wall i'll make sure that i'm standing i'm standing in front of the prayer wall this is the wall we put out uh, at least once a year where we just have special times of really seeking god's face easter's coming up we put this up for easter the idea was to get us all praying for people that we know we love we care about to come be a part of the easter service and for god to do a special work in their life at this season of the year so you can still Come to the prayer wall, all right? Uh, the church is open if you just want to come in. There's plenty of room to distance yourself socially if you want to come in. Post a prayer request on the wall or just pray for those that are up there. You can also send your prayer request in. Most of you are familiar with our prayer line at prayerbfchurch.com. The prayer line is goes out to hundreds of people pretty much within minutes that it gets there. And thank God for the bombs and that ministry they fulfill there. Thank you, Melissa. But you send that prayer at bfchurch.com. Staff will make sure it also gets on the prayer wall, and we'll be praying for it that way as well. So, again, if you want to come and pray up here, uh, you can come into the office. You don't have to stop in fellowship with anybody. Just come on in. There's prayer, uh, prayer little post-its on the table beside me. There's some hand sanitizer on the table beside me. Post your prayer request and lift it up to others. So there's no reason we can't be praying, whether uh, virtual like this or just coming in person and just praying for, some, for a season of time. Another really great thing that happened is many of you for the first time experienced online giving. And I, I praise God for your, your brave, courageous step to tackle that element of technology. Uh, although that many did that, they still are giving that about 35% for Sunday. Some have already started bringing it by the church. If you come into either campus located in the office entry, you don't even have to come all the way in, just right there in the entryway, there is an offering receptacle, the offering box like you see in the worship service. You can just put your tithes, your offerings in there, and we'll take care of it from there. Or you can give online. Go to the website, bfchurch.com. Go up to where it says give. Click on that. Another page opens up. Click donate. And just walk through the steps, and you can make a gift. You can use your credit card or whatever you choose to do. It's the options presented there. So take a moment today. If you haven't done your giving, get it done. Or you can swing by the church and just drop it off as well. So giving is a very, very important part of our worship, folks. And for us to continue to do all the... I guess all the ministry God called us to do, we need to be faithful in this regard and in our giving. You know, I praise the Lord that God's given us this digital avenue that we can do ministry and we can communicate to one another. We're working on expanding that even for some of our lift groups can do digital meetings and using different kinds of uh, uh, computers and laptops and devices to, to get those things done. I do want to remind you, just a quick closing note here. Sunday services again, live streaming, 9 a.m., Get up like you're getting ready for church. Come on in, sit around your iPad or your laptop. Some of you know how to send that to your TV screen to, and on the smart TVs, you can, you can you know, use the apps and the mirroring devices there. But however you watch it, get together, laugh, sing, rejoice, pray, 
everything's taking part of the service as though you were in that service. And you can comment and like and share, do all those things. And let's see if God really, let's, I think we could probably double what we did with 800 and something views last week. I think if we just all participate, all share, all like, and do those things that are required to be a part of that service, get in on it. Don't miss it. Let's have a great, glorious service. Let's just spite the devil. In spite of everything else going on, we're still meeting, we're still believing God, and we're still worshiping together, and we're still praying for each other. I thank God for you. I thank God for our team that uh, made Sunday services possible last week, and will make it possible next week. I've already got even people responding to how well the productions were on Sunday morning. I had some churches that contacted today, they want to know what kind of equipment we use, how do we do it. So uh, uh, what we've done in preparation for this time and developing this ministry has certainly been for such a time as this that we're in right now. So I thank all of you who are part of the production crew uh, at both campuses. God bless you all. And God bless you. I'll see you on the computer come Sunday morning. God bless you.